Oof. Let me tell you something. I feel fresh. I am fresh out of the shower, clean shave, haircut. These are some of the best times right here is when I can reset in the beginning of the week, get a fresh cut. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna shoot a couple videos today and tomorrow as I'm editing as well. The good thing about not having a lot of brand partnerships currently is that I can focus on creating more personal content and planning. What did I do today? I just wanted to get up and show you what my morning routine is like. It's not the same every single day. I'm actually going to work out a little bit later on today. I was supposed to go this morning, but my fiance wasn't feeling well. So I had to improvise my schedule, got up, wrote down my goals for the day. In my journal, talked about how I was feeling a little bit, read a book, it's called Basquiat Isms. My friend ended up giving me last night since I am getting more into painting. He wanted to give me this book about quotes from Basquiat, which I thought was really thoughtful. It's it very interesting to tap into the mind of other artists. That perspective is good so that you're not questioning your intentions and what you're doing. And I think it's good to not compare yourself, but just look at their story and how they laid down this foundation for you. After my haircut, ended up stopping by everyone's favorite place, Target, picked up some goodies. My fiance is applying for US citizenship, so she asked me to get her this portfolio divider so she could all her paperwork in there. And then she's studying and she doesn't want to just focus on the YouTube video, so she wants to write down the questions and the answers on old school flashcards. I haven't studied this way since middle school. This is a really tried and true method right here. You know I had to pick myself something up. My homie KB has been posting about these shirts from Target, the Goodfellas & Co. crew neck t-shirts. I got a size large in black and white. I wanted to really replace all of my pajama shirts because I feel like they're hand-me-down shirts that I've been wearing in the past. And not hand-me-down, but just shirts that have made their way from my closet to my wardrobe. So I'm gonna try these out. I got a size large. Let's hope I don't regret it. Normally my t-shirts are large. I was just thinking if these are a thinner cotton, after I wash them, they're gonna end up shrinking. So, let's try them on. Oh yeah, large, perfect. First initial thoughts, it's a thin t-shirt. It's really soft, not too thin. Not those cheap t-shirts that they give as like promo. It's tagless, it smells like factory. Yeah, large, perfecto. Now we're gonna go watch Chrissy's video. She's dropping a YouTube video, so we're gonna do a revision on it. Let's go. This is the world premiere of Miss Chrissy's YouTube video. Let's get into it. Overall, I think you did an amazing job with the video. This is this is a great vlog. I love the color of the text. There's just one thing that I've seen that needs to be fixed. It's just this little audio where the jazz fades into when you messed up the flower. It just needs to be smoother. I think I figured it out. It is perfecto now. <laughs> Thank you. fresh and clean. We are in the stew. I'm looking out this window and there is a storm that is passing through LA right now. And for the rest of the week, it's going to be raining. I just really wanted to give you a glimpse into what a morning routine looks like for me. Every day it's different. I need to get into a workout because today Chrissy wasn't feeling well, so we didn't really get to do any workout routines. I was hoping a package would come, but I think because of this storm, the package is not going to be coming. However, I do have one package. I just checked another tracking number and it said I have another package coming. So if that comes in, I will definitely open that and edit it right after this one, but I'm eager. If you didn't know, I collect a lot of things. Over the years, I've collected sneakers, vintage t-shirts, film cameras, art books, art, things that hold value to me. The new thing that I'm collecting is art books and I don't know why, but something recently gotten to me where I just wanted to get more into creating art and when I ended 2023 I told myself I'm gonna be creating more videos just like I did 
beginning of 2023 and in 2022, but you know what? I am creating videos, but I told myself I'm gonna do it with more intention, and that's why I'm on YouTube. I really wanna be committed to creating videos for you. And just showing you like what a day in the day life looks like for me and how I can figure out how I can drop value because I think realistically what you get out of consuming somebody's content is the relationship you build with them. And if I'm just doing the most trendiest thing or how to videos that don't speak to you, then why would you want to click on the video in the first place? I think that if I can get something that's broad and gives you perspective, then you'll want to come back and continue watching it. And if you don't, it's all right because I can go back on that content. My last name is Catlett and I grew up with my great grandmother in Berkeley, California. Her name was Frances Catlett. She transitioned and left us in 2012, I believe, and she was 105 years old. This is one of the most important women in my life because she was an oil painter. She started at 50 years old. And I found out about her sister two years ago. Her name is Elizabeth Catlett, but they lived in two different parts of the world. Elizabeth Catlett was one of the first African-American women to graduate with a master's degree in fine arts from the University of Iowa. There's a hall named after her. She has a mural at Howard University. You look into her bodies of work. She's been doing it for a long time, but both of them had a similar goal. They wanted to open doors for women and people of color in these prestigious museums, the Smithsonian, the MoMA. But you have to remember that at that time, they were born at the turn of the century and their parents were born before that. And they were just coming out of slavery or in slavery, transitioning to segregation before any laws and legislations were written through. And then there were also women living in this world where they didn't have the right to vote. They were frowned upon. So that's so much against them. And there's such an important piece to who I am now and why I was more consistent on social media because it helped unlock my purpose. So without further ado, It's actually a really big package. I'm really excited about this. Really, really excited. So I don't know if I should do the book first or if I should do the journal. Um, let's look at this journal real quick. This is the first time that I've seen it. I don't know if it's supposed to go with the book, but Elizabeth Catlett, Years Forever, A Day Diary. On the back it says, I have always wanted my art to reflect us, to relate to us to stimulate us, to make us aware of our potential. So this book came out in 1998, five years after I was born. And when you open it, it has a quote from Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou wrote about her? It says, for a word, Elizabeth Catlett is blessed with a caring heart, deep eyes, and a sure hand. She is a queen of the arts, and we, her subjects, are tremendously blessed by her stupendous gift. That just gave me goosebumps. It has the date, you can write how you're feeling, and then followed by a picture on the left-hand side. So that was the journal, the diary. This is a birthday gift to myself. Oh man, this is an incredible condition right here. So the front says Elizabeth Catlett. The Maya Angelou quote was in this book too. Hold on now. She didn't just write about Elizabeth Catlett once. Here's the second quote, the great artist is a consummate magician. Elizabeth Catlett is a great artist. She reads our dreams and fashions them in sculpture, in paintings, in drawings and words. She boldly uses all media to make public the best of our private selves. That has to be the best mail day I've had. I have one of her prints that's coming in. Okay, I said I was gonna update you when the next one showed up and it's here. Look at the size of this thing. It's officially opened. It's a work of art. It's art, but it's a work of art. Like the details, feelings, the colors. Oh, it's fire. Now I just need to figure out where to hang it up at. I think we get it framed, first of all. Just can't just leave it bare like that. It's a rare print. Gotta take care of it. 